G'day, it's Jonathan here from Dawson Heating and Cooling. Today I'm going to show you how to install these white evaporative cooler vent covers. White vent covers are made to order to suit every vent in your home. Therefore, it's very important that each of the vents be accurately measured. So why don't we jump up on the ladder now and I'll show you how to measure your vents. So once you've safely jumped up the ladder, you want to grab your tape measure and we're going to take several different measurements of the vent. We need to make sure those measurements are very accurate. First thing, step one, is we want to measure points A and B, which is the diameter in both directions. So we measure point A is 355 millimetres, and the same in the other way is also 355 millimetres. Now step two, as you'll see on the form, says you need to measure the inside. So the inside of the frame to the inside of the frame on both sides. In this example is 290 millimetres, and we'll do the same again the other way, which is also 290 millimetres. Uh, step three now is we want to measure the border or the frame. So the border is the little um, border bit around the whole outside of the vent. We want to measure that and it's 35 millimetres. Now step four is actually, once you take note of all those things, we need you to step four to take a photo of the vent. Make sure you take a photo of it because it helps your supplier to understand what style of vent it is. Because the vent is custom made, it needs to be made to suit the frame of the vent. And the last thing you want to do is submit your form with all your photos to your supplier so they can get the um, vent covers manufactured for you. So when you send your order off, each of your vent covers will be manufactured to suit. When they arrive, you'll find in the box that there is three items in the box. There is the, the installation instructions. We've got our vent cover, which you can see has some magnetic strips along it. And we've got the magnetic strip that goes onto the actual vent. So the first thing we now need to do is get the vent ready to install the strip. So let's jump up now and we'll show you how it's done. So to prepare the vent for the magnetic strip to be installed, you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need a scouring pad, just a general kitchen style scouring pad. You're gonna need some methylated spirits and obviously a, and a, and a rag. So firstly what we're gonna do is we wanna grab our scouring pad and we wanna go around and carefully scuff up and give it a good rub around the whole frame, just the outer frame where the magnetic strip is going to be installed. So we go and give it a good scrub. Okay, so then you wanna get your rag, you wanna put a little bit of methylated spirits on it and give the vent, the frame of the vent, a good clean. Okay, so once you've cleaned your vent, you want to make sure you leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes to make sure it's dry before moving on to the next step. So now I've waited about 10 minutes and the vent's ready to go. Firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to install this magnetic strip onto the vent. If you look on the bottom side of the vent, there's a plastic cover or a plastic film over the metal strip. We want to remove that. Okay, so that goes in the bin. Then on the top side, you'll see there's an adhesive the whole way around. You want to go around and you want to actually pull all the plastic off the adhesive. Just make sure every now and then you just have to make sure you remove any of the bits of plastic that don't come off properly. Otherwise it won't stick correctly to the vent. Okay, so now we want to get the the magnetic strip and we want to align it on the put align it with the frame of the vent. So make sure when you align it it's nice and square and it's not blocking any of the louvers. And then you just push it up against the vent and go around and firmly push the frame up to the vent and go around and do that the whole way around to ensure that it's stuck in all, all areas. Okay, so now that that's installed, that actual frame will stay on there. That doesn't come off again. Okay, so now we take our vent cover. And as you can see, the magnet side has to go upwards and you clip your vent cover in place. As you can see, the vent cover is very easy to install and it's equally easy to remove. So at the end of winter, when you're ready to turn your cooler back on again, just go around and just simply pop the cover off and store it away ready to be used next season. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment below with any questions and share this with anyone you think may find it useful. Have a great day.